Yellow, back again. Last video, I think, um, we're just going to make some quick um, examples of our power wires. And I'm going to let you guys finish it off by yourselves, but I'm going to first show you how to do what you're going to have to do to finish it off. Okay, so uh, before we do anything, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, because <clears throat> I'm sure I'm going to have something coming out that you're going to like or want to see or... And maybe you're better at blender, blender than me. Maybe you just like the ideas I come up with. But either way, gonna want to favorite. Gonna want to subscribe. Most likely, anyways. Right. So let's do some examples, and then we'll let you guys figure figure this out on your own after that. So let's go to curve. I suppose we're in the right mode. Yeah. Okay. So it's gonna spawn way over there. Let's drag it over. Alright, there it is, ish. We're still pretty far over there. And up we go. Maybe we'll just shrink it with S. So we need to do some super small wiring, right? Okay. Now, I'll give you some examples. Might be easier to do with stuff like this. <coughs> is just kind of pull it out. Make sure you keep it on its axis, where you can put it exactly back, right? And then take our wire and keeping in mind which way we need to go with them. It's going to be a little crucial work, guys, so we're going to have to get right in there before we can see what we're doing. And maybe you want to take these two and grow them while you're working on them or something, but I'd just rather do it like this. Maybe we'll change the color of this for I can see what I'm doing a bit better. New. Let's just give it some weird color for we can see it a bit better. Let's go yellow. And you can always change this. This is just giving it a color slot anyways, which we're going to need to do at some point. But now I can kind of see the holes that I'm trying to guide this to, right? So something like this. Now we're going to go to edit mode and grab this one. And we're going to have to spin this guy. Grab it up here, something like that. Okay. And we'll go out of edit mode and we'll kind of pop it in where we're going to need it. And you may have to monkey these around a little bit to get them right into the right place. And you're going to want to double check to make sure that they are actually in the right place. Just moving around a little bit should, yeah, see? I thought I was in the right place, but I wasn't. So we'll move that back and then zoom in. like this and we're just gonna boost it in okay and yep that's gonna be um, way too small obviously so what we're gonna have to do is go down to geometry and we'll go to depth and just change it to one okay might be still a little big so we're just gonna shrink it after until you're happy with the size and then Go ahead, oops. Try to put it in a place as best as we can, making sure we can move around to see what we're doing. Something like that. It's a little high. And it looks like we're in place finally. <coughs> Something like that anyways. You get the idea. Just giving you some examples of how we're going to do this anyways. Um, so, you know, maybe bring this up a little bit, but flip out edit mode, shift D it. Okay, because there's four of them. And we'll put the second one there, and then we'll um, grab both this time and shift D them. And we'll boost them back to the other one. And then we'll go into edit mode and we'll grab this one and this one just move them out a little bit or off 
off a little bit so they're not exactly on the other ones. Okay, something like that. And what we want to do is slowly merge them where it becomes one big mass, basically. And then that will join into a bigger one, a bigger cord. And we'll have that cord spin around and plug back in here. But let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can... Um, let's just grab this one and take it down. Let's grab this one and take it up. Let's grab this one and take it up a bit. Oops. Well, we're not clicked on those guys, are we? And we're just trying to make them kind of match up together. And, um... Probably bring this over here so they're all about the same, obviously. And same there. Okay. And this is probably where we're going to want to join it and make them all go into a bigger wire. I'll show you how we'll do that. You may have to ship them around. Your computer's going to be a little different than mine, but I just wanted to give you a quick example of how we're going to finish this off and not leave you hanging trying to figure it out on your own. This stuff's a pretty hard business figuring out this wire stuff, and I didn't want to do that to you. So, something like that, get it around the same size, you're going to have to manipulate it a little bit, and it's got to be a little bit bigger than the other ones afterwards, so, something like this, okay, get the idea, and it's going to take a lot to line these up and make sure they're exactly in place, right, but you, I'm sure you know that. So just take your time. That's way too big, so we're going to just go shrink the whole thing after. Something that's going to make sense that that goes into. Okay. Something like this. Again, it's going to take a little bit to line them up because the angles are pretty bad to be able to see what you're doing. Once they all make sense, once they all plug into each other and they're all the right size, cannot get this here. I don't want to make you guys wait through it, but I want to give you a good, a good example. Alright, well, you know what? That'll do. So once we're happy with the position of them, then we just need to take the end of this one, and it's probably going to be spun around pretty hard because we end up doing like a loop, basically. Something like this. Take this end, spin it that way, okay? And then from this point, um, well, we can't join those together yet, so we're probably going to have to hit E, and then, oh, that's not the right one, Y, yeah. And it'll be something like this, and then we'll have to turn and do a loop into here, but I think you get the idea because this is going to all plug right into here on all power connections. We're going to have to make that fit and work. But just for now, I'm just going to give you some examples, like I said, so you guys will know what to do to finish this off. So after you've finished doing all your wiring, they all fit before you do this. Okay? You've made them all work. I'm just going to take each, or sorry, take, yeah, you can take each one actually, just like that. Just like that, we're going to right click and we're going to convert to mesh. Okay? And what that's going to do is make it a solid. So now they're an actual thing you can join together. So if I want to take these four and join them to this, I can now, but I couldn't before. You see? Right? And then once this is joined to that, okay, it's one and you're okay, it's one wire. You're probably gonna wanna make two states. One where it's plugged in, obviously I gotta move that, but I just want to give you an example. One where it's plugged in, and one where it's just bundled up and off to the side, so you have an unplugged, and then, then a plugged in state. The unplugged is obviously easy, it doesn't have to be a certain anything, it just has to basically fit, so, okay. Just thought I'd mention.
mention that. Just gonna unattach that because that does not work. But there's gonna be some manipulation. It's gonna take some time, but I don't want to make you guys uh, watch me go through that. <laughs> Maybe you guys do want to see me. If you really want to see it and you just you can't figure it out, let me know in the comments, and I'll literally take the time to show you everything you need to know. I just I kind of feel bad. I know some people are just going hurry up, and other people are like, no, I need to see more. So tell me what you need. If this works for you, if this is okay enough to get you finished on your project. And if not, like I said, I don't mind doing the work. I just want to make sure that's what you want. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And hopefully you have uh, got through your entire computer project. And if you have and you appreciate it and you'd like to show some support, you're welcome to check out our game on Steam. We're not demanding you do. Only if you want to, if you want to have some fun. And if not, make sure you subscribe and I'll, hopefully I come up with something that you'll enjoy. If you had had a good time or if it's been a struggle and you want to talk about it, please let us know in the comments. We'll have a little chatteroo about it. And thanks for joining us, guys. It's been a long series and I'm really proud of you if you've gotten through this like I have. And hopefully this is going to make your game all the better now that you have a realistic computer that works. Alright? Alright. We'll see you next time. Peace.